Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to Let's Play! Bravely Second! On the 3DS. Uh, this game is a direct sequel to Bravely Default. So, if you haven't seen that game, you may want to play that one first to avoid spoilers in this game. Or you can watch my LP of the game. I'll put a link to the playlist in the video description. Uh, both are traditional turn-based JRPGs with job classes similar to Final Fantasy V, but this has a lot of new ones, too. So before starting up on Bravely Second End Layer, the main game itself, I want to go through the demo version. Bravely Second! The Ballad of the Three Cavaliers. And if you're watching this on the day I uploaded it, you could download this demo on the 3DS eShop for free. If you're in the future and it's gone, well, don't worry about it. It's not that important. For completing the demo and fulfilling certain objectives, you get some consumable healing items in the main game, but nothing game-breaking. So, let's head on into the demo of the game. This actually is a pretty long demo, completely separate from the main game. So it's not like whatever you do here, you'll transfer it over into the full game and just pick up where you left off. No, no. Anything you do here, as far as like your characters, stays here. You don't get to carry that part over at least. So let's start up a new game. Let's see, as usual, I will be playing on hard difficulty. It increases stats of enemies pretty much, yeah. Uh, let's see, I don't think I'll need autosave in the demo. Maybe I'll use that in the main game, but here, I think this will do just fine. Hey, hey all right. So yeah, this is one of the bonuses you get for playing the demo, or at least in this case successfully loading the demo without falling off your chair. And yeah, we get little tutorials in the demo as well, like that. So where do we start the adventure? Kind of looks like Inchime there. With the windmill or gears or whatever they got going on. So where is this place anyway? Oh, okay. So, how do you learn here? Like at the... A temple or something? Your Holiness, Pobanyas? Can you hear me? It's you, the leader of your Crystal Guard. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, am I holding this right? Oh, oh, oh yes! I'm here, you! Anyas? Really? They made her the Pope? Of all people? It's wonderfully convenient being able to communicate like this, don't you think? Evidently. Now you, please, tell me of the Crystal Guard's current situation. Of course, Your Holiness. The three Cavaliers have just arrived on Alcampus. We await your command. Very good. I know that I've explained once before, but allow me to refresh your minds. Okay. We have received reports of strange happenings the past few months, mostly occurring around the Temple of Wind. Hmm. We did encounter a few troubles of our own on the way here. What kind of I troubles? It's only my overactive imagination, but these events seem premeditated to my eyes. I sense ill will at work. Eh, I think you're just being paranoid. What's the worst that could possibly happen? In short, Your Holiness, you believe there is a villain behind all this. Would you say that is accurate? Sarah Flamington, is that you? Yes, I fear these troubles are only the start of some far greater trial. <laughs> Been there. You, Jenny Olja. Jen Ongard. Nikolai Nikolonikov. And Mario Mario. We, we are, are the, the Crystal, Crystal Guard's three Cavaliers. I, Anya Oblige, hereby order you as your Pope and Liege. Couldn't they have found anyone but her to run the world? Find out the truth behind these events and keep the peace in El Campus. You are to inform me as soon as you know more. But then I suppose we wouldn't have a game, would we? 
Of course, Your Holiness. You can count on us. Does everyone have to call her Your Holiness? We have friends among the people of El Campus. A guide has been arranged to aid you in this task. Oh, okay. A guide, Your Holiness? Might we ask how we are to find this helpful soul? Oh, um, I do believe she was a girl, and, well, uh, doubtless she will seek you out. Do not worry. Oh, okay. Understood, Your Holiness. We shall wait for her arrival. I mean, how many could be around here? Remember, I only ask that you gather information. If you find yourself in danger, you mustn't act recklessly. <laughs> now you're just talking crazy, Anyas. <laughs> oh, please, Your Holiness. Do you really think that kind of warning will even slow you down? Or any JRPG protagonist, for that matter. I must agree, Pope Anyas. Our Master Yu is nothing if not intrepid. Hmm. You bet I am! Oh, wait, that is a compliment, right? <laughs> I trust you two to keep our Yu in check <laughs> as much as anyone can. Hmm, indeed. We've got you covered, Your Holiness. We're all pros when it comes to keeping this kid out of trouble. Ha <laughs> ha! Chan. Why am I even in charge if everyone insists on insulting me left and right? <laughs> we only tease out of love, Master Yu. But what of this guide we are to find? Why do we need a guide? Her Holiness did say that she'd come to us. Why don't we just check out the sites until she shows up? Oh, okay, well, we got a new town to explore. Sounds like a plan. Let's have a look around. But all right, so now we have, yeah, freedom to move around the city and everything. And yeah, just like you saw during the intro there, we can talk to Anya. although we got to do it through the main menu now. So let's see what happens. Go into the menu here. Yeah, there she is on the bottom. And if you want to hear more from her, press the L button. And, well, yeah, she'll just uh, tell you something that's relevant to your side quest or main quest or whatever is relevant at the moment there. Well, I suppose of all the members of your unit, you're the only one left alive. So, I suppose who else could run the show? Oh, well, yeah, that's the general idea. I'd do that with anywhere I'd go to. Oh, okay. I think you can disable those if you wanted to. But I'm going to leave them there to show you how we're supposed to know where to go and do things there. But, uh, all right. So, yeah, let's uh, get out of there and take a look around the place. Oh, how's that? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, we're... Yeah, I mean, we're in the desert there, evidently. But, uh, alright. And just like all the games in the series, we have an adventurer here who functions as our save point. But otherwise, yeah, you don't need to talk to them right now. Oh, okay, sure, why not? Oh, okay, so that's, or, well, yeah, that's where we were, around here before, evidently. Yeah, let's go, uh, pay them a visit, why don't we? And there's quite a few NPCs you can talk to around here, like this pig! Uh, what happens if I say no? Somehow I feel like we just annoyed the pig. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's, uh, say yes. What do we got, then? Um, uh, okay, sure, why not? Oh, well, we already know about Ask Agnes there. I think these are just, like, the tutorials that you had. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. You get rewards for doing stuff in the demo here. 
But let's see, I think that's all we got. Oh, well, out of that one. What else do we got here? Well, yeah, just like in Bravely Default, in this game we have Bravely Second itself. Uh, not just the name of the game, but a mechanic within the game. So let's see, in this case, I don't think it lets you exceed the normal damage limit of 9,999, but yeah, it just ma lets your attacks crit, although not that you would really need it. So, but in general, I will not be taking advantage of Bravely Second here. So yeah, you get SP based on if you're running the game and then you close your 3DS and then you reopen it, you'll get some SP based on the amount of time you kept the game running there. And yeah, so that, well, sorry, spoiled it five seconds in advance there. But yeah, I just wanted to, yeah, go over how all of that comes together. Let's see, this is a new mechanic to the game specific to the wizard job class not the black mage they didn't change the name of it but this is a completely different spell cast that lets you attach certain abilities to a spell that you would cast in battle there like one of them could make your spell happen first in the turn or another one might uh, turn your magic spell into a physical attack. Things like that. And it is really, really good. Especially in the demo, at least, there. Let's see, what else do we got around here? Oh yeah, auto battle. Pretty much the same as the first game. But you can also create sort of uh, macros. Kind of like uh, Fantasy Star 4. Except you can't determine the order in which everyone does their thing for the round. But yeah, you can go into that menu with the R button. And just like the first game, you can adjust the encounter rate if you like. I'm mostly going to leave it at 0%. But you could change it if you want. Okay, I think that's everything here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's see, so yeah, press the R button. We've got some settings here. Although right now I don't have any sets yet. You can set them during battle. You can't do it outside of battle, at least not to my knowledge. And then, yeah, you could adjust the encounter rate that way too. Let's see, back here. Yeah, I missed this guy the first time I played through the demo. I kind of... Uh, yeah, I didn't really see the guy back there for some reason. But yeah, so you learn new spells usually from going to a store, just like Final Fantasy V there. You buy them, and then everyone in your party could use them if they have the proper job command there. Let's see, this is the dorm mother. I guess she's in charge of the place. Hey, how's it going? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, something like that. Oh, okay, well, good, good. Well, let's go upstairs and see what they got around here. Nice hat there. Oh, yeah, I suppose we are. Freelancer is like the basic job class. But unlike some other... J job classes in various JRPGs. Freelancer does have some unique properties to itself, too. But yeah, for now, we can only appear as freelancers, even if we change our job class. Let's see, if you go up and around here, you can find a hidden treasure! Silver glasses! Just like Final Fantasy V, they protect you from the blind status. But there's not really that many enemies that can inflict it on you. So I'm not going to bother equipping it now or anything like that. Okay, what else do we got? Let's see, there's someone else we need to talk on the other side of town. Did I talk to this guy already? Oh, okay. 
Let's see, we got an item shop over here, though I don't feel the need to buy anything here. Basically, curative healing items and status curing items. I may want to buy a teleport stone eventually, but not right now. Hey, how's it going? Oh, sure, why not? Oh, well, someone has to keep track of everything. Do you have anything to tell me? No, I guess she doesn't. Okay. Never mind, then. She'll have stuff to tell us eventually. Oh, yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, another reminder about... Getting bonuses that would carry over into the main game there. Here's the Northern Guard that the other guy was telling us about there. So yeah, you can't just walk through the town on the overworld. You have to go into the town, then cross over here in order to get to the desert area. But yeah, if you try to leave right now, yeah, you'll be blocked by an invisible plot wall. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, it looks nice to me. Oh, yeah, I forgot to go to one place here. Yeah, we got the equipment shop, and I'm going to want to get a lot of stuff from here. But before we do that, I want to advance the plot a little bit. Get some things going here. Let's see, over here we have, yeah, the magic shop. A whole bunch of different magic spells. Spirit magic. Uh, astral magic, white magic, black magic, lots of good stuff. Let's see, one more guy to talk to around here. You actually only need to talk to the two guys with the orange flags on them. Oh, oh, okay, well, never mind. What do you mean, summer holidays? It's a desert! But, okay. Oh. Hey, all right. And yeah, just like the first game, we have the party chat here. So kind of like uh, ATEs in Final Fantasy IX there. Although it's just whoever you have with you at the time. What's going on? No, not that. Anything but that. What? Oh. Okay. A test of island courage? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Oh. Nice. Ha ha. <laughs> or just didn't know better. And the Bailey Cursed must... Must run through your veins there, huh, you? Ha 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 ha. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. But, uh, okay, so now let's go back to the center of town and wait for our guide. Or we could find them right now a lively town is it not i feel quite at home now that we've had some time to walk around oh you're not from here are you huh now all we need to do is wait for this guide of ours what guide no offense to her holiness but just how long are we supposed to wait wait no longer mes amis here i am here you are what who the heck are you beat me to it a servant of justice and truth come to you straight from the moon. You may call me Magnolia Arch. Nice outfit. Look at those red eyes. She looks trustworthy. Oh, yeah, she's from... Okay, everyone. Uh, don't make eye contact. Let's just walk away. From the moon and... What? What? No one cares about that? Excuse-moi. I will not be ignored. What, do we have spaceships or something? 
just waiting Wait, for us? Don't tell me. You're supposed to be our guide? Is she? But of course. Uh. We're expecting someone else. Okay. Are you serious? This is the best they could do? Um, JRPG? Yeah, pretty much. She does appear to know who we are, so I suppose there is some element of truth to her claim. You got a receipt for, I don't know, someone hiring you? Game? Huh. Very well. Then I am Eugenie Olja of the Crystal Guard. Well, someone has to guard these things. Leader of the Three Cavaliers. Magnolia Arch. It's a pleasure. Yeah, I like your arches. So I guess we're doing this, huh? Fine. I'm Jan on guard, fencing prodigy. Maybe you've heard of me. Oh, not before now. And I am the healing light that illuminates the path for our trio. Nikolai Nikolonikov, at your service. Enchanté. This should be a fun assignment. So are they... Do they speak French on the moon? Then let's get things started. So you're the guide, Magnolia. Guide us. What do we need a guide for anyway? Why don't we ask around and see if the townspeople can tell us anything about what's going on? Oh. Gee, I never thought of that. I thought you were supposed to already know all this stuff. Oh, okay. Lead the way. More party members with Magnolia. Game? Heavens, I slept unusually and overly long. But I'm here now, three cavaliers. Uh-oh. Hello? I'm looking for three cavaliers. Uh, are there any cavaliers here? Dude? Now? Ugh. I'm certain this is where we were supposed to meet. Oh dear. Did they set out without me? Evidently. What, did we fall into some kind of trap? Maybe she's a spy? But, uh, oh right! So, well, I guess I could have done this a little while ago, but we can change up our job classes and everything. And, yeah, so they, well, yeah, there's different properties to each of them. I'll go over that in a bit. Oh, and we get more party talk. Yeah, what's going on? I mean, you've been here, evidently. Oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, I know the feeling. Not a big fan of spicy food, I'll be honest with you viewers. Oh, well, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> nuts. Well, that's not exactly a problem we can help you with. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it is a desert. Of course they would have sandstorms. Hmm, I wonder. Well, we just get, she just got here. But okay. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Oh, how? Don't answer that, viewers. <laughs> but alright, so let's take a look around here. Oh yeah, by the way, over here, by the adventurer, we have the end. And yeah, just like every other JRPG, you sleep there, you get all of your HP and MP back. And it makes it daytime. Yeah, this game has a day-night cycle. 
And let's see, if we go up here, yeah, let's go talk to these guys with the orange flags on the menu there. Or on the map, I guess. Oh, okay. So this is our first quest of the game. Let's see, what do we got? What do you mean, communication features? Oh, okay. Ha ha. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. So I think this is about, like, the communication features of the 3DS that you can use in the game. But, uh, yeah, let's go accept it. Now, unfortunately, with these quests, you don't have, like, a quest log or anything keeping track of it. So, if you forget about it, you're going to have to talk to the guy again there to get the details. But there's not, like, a ton of these sorts of quests. So now, yeah, we got to talk to some other guys with marked with orange flags. Oh, yeah, and once you get a quest, yeah, Agnes will start talking about it. And if you press the L button, you can get a little more details about it. Oh. Well, yeah, since the first game. Oh. Okay, well... Thanks a lot! But, uh, yeah, let's go talk to this guy. What do we got going on here? Oh, okay. I have no idea how that works. Like, actually doing that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never really use these sort of multiplayer features. I basically just ignore that. I suppose so. But, uh, okay, so let's see. This guy doesn't have anything. Let's see. I'm going to buy equipment and arrange my party later. Not right now. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Yeah, something like that. Oh, okay. I think the way this works is like you close your 3DS. I guess kind of like putting it into sleep mode or something. And if you happen to literally walk by someone in the real world doing the same thing. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can do all this stuff. Though I personally never do that either. But, uh, okay. Well, unfortunately, not many people play this game. Not, not where I live, anyway. Let's see. Ah, there we go. And let's see. This guy actually gives us another quest. What's going on? Master Genji, huh? Genji gloves? No. No. But let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, sure. Why not? So yeah, you'll be able to see the marks on the lower screen there. But, uh, sure, why not? So, another quest for us to figure out there. And let's see. I think there's, yeah, one more thing in the dorms over there, but I think that's good for now. So yeah, to leave to the world map, now you can actually do it. You, d you could take either the northern or the southern exit to get out of this place. But can we find the legendary apron that was stolen? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second Demo. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!